In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Docs to create bonus content or lead magnets like a cheat sheet, toolkit, checklist, workbook, or whatever for your online course or info product. After playing around with Google Docs for about an hour, I've discovered that it's relatively easy to use and sometimes annoying, but doesn't necessarily have all the functionality that I'm used to. I use InDesign for layout design, but with a little perseverance, it really does work to create a simple and beautiful layout. In this video, I'm going to walk you through creating a cheat sheet, but you can really use it for creating a great editable workbook because that's the best part about Google. Everything is editable. So let's get started. Here's a quick preview of the cheat sheet template that we are going to create. Um, as you can see, it has a cover sheet. It goes into some bulleted lists paragraphs and even uses um, text wrap around images and gets into where we can start having some editable text. So let's get started by opening up a new document and let's just create some really basic page formatting to get to right off the bat. So we're going to go into file and page setup. I'm going to take away the margins at the top and the bottom and make those zero. Um, that way it allows us to put stuff all the way up to the top, like the triangle and the little green line at the end on the bottom. So you're just, but leave the left and right so when you put text in, it doesn't go all the way to the edges of the page. So just add those to zero and hit okay. Now you can see the cursor comes right up to the top of the, the bar. So first, let's just add some page numbers to this document. So what we're going to do is go into insert and you can go into footer and then see how it has, it creates a separate bar. And then what you're going to go do and do page number and choose the style that you want. That looks good. Um, I select this because as you saw in the last document right over here, this has a, this doesn't have the same footer as this page does. If you want them to have the same thing, just don't check this box. So what you'll do is, oops, you select the page number. Um, let, I'm say let's use a different font. So I'm going to use Playfair Display. Make it small. It's not really important. So about a size nine is good. I'm going to change the text so it's light. And one last thing, I'm going to center it so you can see it right there. Great. That was super easy. So the next thing we're going to do is insert a header as well. And that. Oh. And to do that, we're going to do insert header. There we go. Um, and now you can see that it drops down to give you the space. So what we're going to do now is we are going to create this large image at the top that's going to become your cover page. So you'll do this and then what you're going to go do is insert drawing. Now you're going to use this drawing section to create that entire image. So what we'll do is we'll click on the image button to bring in an image. Um, I'm just going to go in here and grab the stock photo that we're going to use. Okay, so now here's the image. You know, it looks a little bit big and I don't think I want that much of it. So what you can do is just double click on it and that will allow you to crop the image and make it smaller. Then once you see the four little um, arrowed cursor, you can use that to move the image up and down. So let's just move it up here, you know, get part of her legs and the computer. And you can just click out of it and now you have a smaller graphic. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna add a shape to create this box right here around our logo. You just go click on shapes, shapes, make it easy, rectangle, create it. Now, as you can see, this is the default for um, their shape design. It doesn't really match with our brand, so all you need to do is go in and click it. And these are the your tool friends here. This is the line color. I don't really want a line around the box, so I'm just gonna make it transparent, and you can see it disappears. Now this blue is not our, our color, so what I'm going to do is click Fill and Custom, and then right here is where you can add your hex codes of your brand. So what you'll do is just delete that number, keep the hashtag, and now you're going to just paste in your 
own brand colors. Okay, and voila, there you go, super easy. I'm just gonna make it a little bit longer to fit our logo because it's a little bit long. Now the next thing, I'm gonna add the logo. Click on image, go to upload again. So I'm just gonna go over and grab my logo and drag it into the box. All right, wow, as you can see, it comes up full size. So all you need to do is take the, tri take the little arrows or squares on the side and drag it down can just grab the image and drag it see that looks a little bit big so I'm gonna make it keep shrinking it till about what I want it oh that looks like a good size so what you can I'm gonna bring this box down so it fits a little bit better what you can do to make sure it's centered is select both objects by holding shift and clicking on both the teachable logo and the green box and then right click and then you're gonna want to align horizontally and do center go back and right click again do vertical and then it'll align things in the middle if you want it different you can do um, align it to the top or do it all the way to the left but for this purpose i want it centered in the in the box so let's quick change that back all right i think that looks pretty good so what you can do save and close and as you can see it dropped it into this header portion which is perfect so what we're going to do is click on this object and it comes up with edit. So if you ever need to go back and change, just click on edit and it'll take you back. Um, inline, text wrap, and break text. So this is when you add text to the page. This is how the text is gonna be affected by it. With this, we're gonna do wrap text. And now it brings up a box that, call, that has margins, which is the spaces that it's gonna put above and below this image. We don't want any for this purpose. So we're just gonna click zero. So as you can see, it all disappeared in this dropped up high so we are going to just drag it all the way to the top Ex use the same blue squares to extend it all the way to the edge so it covers the full space and once you click out of it voila there is the same image that we just created over here okay so now let's go in to adding this the title because that's really important your audience now knows who this is from now it's they need to know what they're getting so to add some space i'm just going to click enter and then i'm going to put in my text what do we call it launch your online course so type your title in my course and then cheat sheet is what we're calling it perfect all right now we just need to format the text a little bit let's go back to let's call this a heading because it's big, it's meant to be bold. You want them to see it. Um, and I'm going to change the text to Playfair. Bump up the size because it's way too small. I think about 48 is what I did before. Oh, yep, there we go. All right. And then I'm going to center it. And let's go ahead and change it to a different gray. And move this down to two lines. Oops. And then, you know, I just want the launchy course to stand out a little bit more, so let's make it bold. Perfect. Now you can see this looks exactly like that. I don't think Chi Chi needs to be as large, so I'm just going to take it, drop it down. I think 36 is the size I went with. Oh, 24. So even smaller than that. Just you, But you can type in whatever kind of text you want. So let's say you want it to be 22. Just go ahead and type it in and it will change. I'm just picking from the preset right now. You know, and I just think it doesn't need to be as bold. So let's just make it a little bit lighter of a gray. Awesome. So easy. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add in another image, uh, or excuse me, another shape to break up this text. So what you're going to do is go back into insert drawing just like we did before you're going to click on shape click on the square you're going to just you know create your rectangle as how big or small as you want it again it brings up the default so just going to click on this i'm going to take away the line to be transparent i'm going to click on the color again and go back to custom and put my green back in here okay I'm going to shrink it up just a little bit and hit save and close. Now you can see it inserts it right in the um, document. Now, again, I don't want it in line. In line means it's going to be right in line with the text. So I'm going to do wrap text, leave the margin as is, and just add it between the two. I still see how close it is. So let's we can bump the margin up a little bit more. 
Now, what you if it does that, all you need to do is grab the graphic and just pull it down a little bit so it brings it to where you want. I think that looks great. Look at that. Ro cover is almost done. So the last thing that we need to add is a new, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add a new page, and then we will delete this. So it's super easy to add a new page. If you're on a Mac, it's just command enter, and there you go. It drops it down. You can also just hit enter until it adds a new one, although I don't always recommend doing that. And or, whoops, let's delete this extra space because we don't need it. Or you'll just go into, what is it? Yep, insert, and then go down to here, page break, and it'll add you a new one. So, as you can see from the bottom, our footer is now added. But since, remember, we checked different first page header and footer, which is why this one looks like this, and this second one looks like this. So what we're going to do, let's just go ahead and format this. Playfair, choose the gray, center it. There you go. Let's drop the size down to like nine, I think is what we had it in. Perfect. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and since it's the cover, I don't really want it on there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. And there you go, it's all done. So let's go ahead and just add a little bit of an element to the bottom of this footer section just to dress it up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is just go back to image or go to insert, nope, not image, I'm sorry. We are gonna go into insert drawing create another shape just to keep with the theme we got going on we'll just create a long skinny bar that is going to have the same green as all the other ones once again just go in and replace you hit okay hit save and close and it drops down so what you're going to do is select the bar again choose um wrap text bump the margin to zero so you can move it to however and wherever you want drag it to the bottom extend oops see this is what i mean it's a little bit finicky and hard to get it to exactly where you want to go but there you go take it to the bottom and see where it falls now you know i think this is the two is really close to this green so all you need to do is go to the two and click enter and it draw, adds extra space after the two since this does have text wrap on it, it goes around. So you just need to oops, drag it to the bottom again to fit where you want it to be. And that should be good. Oh, I guess I haven't made it wide enough. So let's just do that. Align it. Oh, and there you go. Let's say if you don't, if you want more, you just, you can push the up arrow and it makes it jump really big. So let's push it back down. If you hold shift and push the up arrow, it moves it in much smaller increments, which makes it a lot easier than using the mouse and dragging up and down so there you go i think that looks great now we have our page numbers and some little design going on so what we're going to do on this page is i'm going to insert a header here um, there you go because that is what we need to add this image in just to create some break and not have the text be right above this edge but before we do that, let's go into just adding the text and then we'll add the design element. Um, I'm just using lorem ipsum text It's as placeholder text. You can obviously, we'll add in whatever you want. So let's go ahead and just, I'm just gonna copy some of this that they have, paste it in, and then let's just steal a full paragraph and just put that in there. You know, let's, since those things have some bullets, let's just break up some of the lines like this to make it seem like we're explaining how you're going to launch your own online course. All right, there you go. This works. So this will be like the title of your first page, your main heading. Now, this Arial font doesn't really match the rest of the design that we have going on. So we're just going to quick change it. Playfair. This looks a little bit big. So let's drop it down to, yeah, I like 20. Let's do 20. There we go. And you know, let's change up this color. Let's make it go on brand. We'll put in our green once more. Oh, I forgot. Let's just recopy. Put the green in. Oh, make sure there's a hashtag, otherwise it won't work. And there you go. Now it changes it. Um, now this, I want this to be a header for these bullet points. So once again, I'm gonna change this to Playfair. And let's make it 11. 
And you know, I don't want to use bold. I've been using grays. So let's change it to a darker gray right here. Oh, how about this one? A little bit darker. Great. Now, this is where my bullets are going to be. Let's just delete this portion because we don't really need it. This, these are going to become my bullet points. Now, I want a little bit of a different kind of text for the body. So I'm going to use Proxima Nova. It's really simple, great, great text. Um, keep, I'll keep it at the 10.5. It's a little bit smaller. Let's change this to body text to a gray just to create some visual differences. That one looks a little bit easier to read. Now, select it all. Let's make this a bulleted list. Uh, those bullets are ugly, so let's use something like this. It looks fun. Now, there's a lot. There's not a lot of space between each line, so let's just go in and add some more space. So you'll go into line spacing. Let's bump it up to 1.5. This. I'm just going to delete because it's a little bit long. And there you go. Easy. But, you know, one other thing you can do is if you want to just bring in a little bit more color, select the bullets. And what you can do is go to text color click on custom which is this this green that you just that we've added and it changes just the bullets just makes it a little bit more fun a little bit more pretty you can do that with any of either the numbered bullets that you choose or these um you know so let's just like keep it going we'll copy and paste some of this stuff in here then go in and add the rest of your text and it's pretty much done it's all just like a fill in fill in the blank template if you want to add a paragraph of text, just hit enter, paste this. Let's pretend this is all one paragraph, not a bulleted list. And then, oops, there you go. No, voila, you're done. Super simple. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to add in this element here in the corner. Just add a little extra pizzazz to the page. What you're going to do is click into the header section of the page that you created earlier. You can go to insert an image. I'm just going to pull up and drag and drop the image that you want to put there. For me, it's going to be this triangle. As you can see, it's huge, way too big. So let's just grab a corner, drag it down. Yeah, that looks about good. What we're going to do is change it to text wrap. So don't worry that it disappears. It's just a weird thing Google does. Just go ahead, change the margin to zero, and now it's back. And you can also move it. So you're just going to go ahead and drag it to the, tri to the corner. Um, see, it's Per, it's aligned great on the right side, but there's still a little white space on the top. So what you're going to do is just hold shift and use the top arrow to bring it up about two spaces. And now it's perfectly aligned and it still wraps around the text and looks really great. All right. So now if you want to add one more page, you're, let's go back into insert page break. You can see that all of these elements that we designed on this page duplicate and come into the next pages that you're creating. It's because this footer and header have the same design style. Remember how we changed this, that the first page is different. So all the pages following will have this look, which is awesome. You're going to do, okay, click in. Now you can see the text is already there. Let's say, you know, you have a paragraph of text. We're just going to copy this because it's already designed and you want to add an image to this. So what we're going to do is just do what we were doing before, go insert image. I'm going to quick drag and drop this one in right here. All right, you can see this is huge and way too big and we don't need it that size. So once again, you just shrink it down to about the size that you want. And then as you can see, it's in line. It's the space of the, th the, the, the end of the image is in line with the base of the text. So what you're going to do is just do wrap text awesome you know if you can drag the image up and down i like it when it's like nicely and aligned right there um and let's say you want more and then as you can see the image wraps nicely around the text if you had more text let's just copy and paste into here it'll wrap nicely around the bottom as well what you can do is you can or, as you can see this edge is a little bit outside of the alignment here so just take it Pull it into your right until the red air line pops up. Now it's perfectly aligned with the top and bottom. Now let's say you don't like the way this bottom, how there's more space. You can just go ahead and play with the margins, increase it to be a little bit bigger, and now it makes it more even. Or if you want it still back to smaller again, you can, hey, that's too small, a little bit too close. Let's 
go back to the one eighth of an inch you can just you know make the image bigger too and it kind of evens it out now for the last thing this is how you'll be able to create an editable workbook so let's just pretend this is a question I'm copy and paste it down here all right let's see question one. Oh wow that is not the font we want is that so let's just do paste okay let's this is a question and then make it look like it you just have to enter it let's just you know pretend this is another question copy and paste just give yourself some more space here for them to write an answer but pretty much as Google now once they create their own copy of this they will be able to write in their own answers right here so easy it's one of the really great perks of using Google so in order to save it so it is editable let's go into share and you can see right now these are the basic sharing settings that we have what you're gonna want to do is click on that and click on more and then what you're gonna want to do is anyone with the link can view which means they don't have to be in your either your work Google or your personal Google it's anyone with this link can view it and that's what you're gonna want to do you want can view because it means they can only see the document in order to edit or make any changes they have to make their own copy which if they don't know that you may want to tell them so they can use it and you don't get a bunch of emails being like why can't I edit this document and if you use it just as a cheat sheet or toolkit that you have up at the top like right here can view is fine they don't really need to make a copy they'll have all the information in one space it's mostly for if you want to make it editable is the is really really important that's how to use google drive to create a branded and beautiful content upgrade lead magnet or whatever you would like to call it for your online course or info product thank you